Hey, hey, what's going on, you kings and queens? Hope you're the best day yet. And straight to the point, this is marketing one on one because marketing is by far one of the most important things you can do for any business because it is the lifeline for every single business. Marketing is the story you tell, who you're telling it to, why people are buying it. It's the center of the universe. And what that means is that you're responsible. You're responsible for what you make, how you make it, how you bring it to the world, what the side effects are, who you're talking to, everyone works for you. Marketing. 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 My company went from making a million dollars a year to making a hundred and fifty million. We'll do a hundred and fifty million dollars this year. Why? Because we market, we advertise, we spend, we push, we brand. Because what we know is that a product well marketed is a product that people want to engage in. And an amazing product that no one knows about or cares about is an amazing product. If you've been following the trend to know the old saying, you know, nine out of ten businesses fail within the first year. And of those nine out of ten, within the next five years, the next nine out of ten will fail that too. And because of one simple concept, not having enough cash flow or clients. And the best way to get clients is marketing. However, this is also one of the most asked questions that I get. So what is marketing? What do you do exactly? And that's for one simple reason. Because there's so many different kinds of marketing out there. All the way from content marketing, brand marketing, guerrilla marketing, street marketing, network marketing, you know, agile marketing, experimental marketing. There's marketing for everything. There's over 165 different kinds of marketing that you can do. So to keep it simple, because marketing one-on-one, -on -one, the two biggest things to realize is you have direct marketing and indirect marketing. And above those two is traditional marketing versus digital marketing or creative or unconventional marketing. What I love the most is doing that kind of marketing. All about online. Right now, this is content marketing out of, you know, kind of brand marketing at the same time. But the biggest thing to really realize about marketing is it has so many different kind of avenues you can go to. So you gotta focus on what is the idea you're trying to do. You know, the textbook meaning of marketing is to understand and bring a product to the buyers and the consumers. It's marketing in a nutshell. But when you really look in the grand scheme of things, you know, you have to think about selling and psychology and business development. All these things take a huge role into our marketing endeavors. When I'm doing marketing for my clients, that's one of the biggest things I have to do is find out who they targeting, what is their ideal client. If you don't know yours already, look above. I have a whole video talking about how to do it yourself. That's one of the most important concepts. And understanding who you're talking to, because you talk to everybody, we end up talking to nobody. And when you go even deeper to marketing, you know, we have the three layers. You know, we have general marketers, those people who do everything. We have specialized marketers, niche marketers, and then you know, we have celebrity marketers, people who are like Gary Vaynerchuk, who are the known go to person in that spill. Which is one of my goals, which is why I'm trying to do some of this content. I'm trying to become the best marketer to ever live. But for me to do that, I have to, you know, go from general marketing to specialized marketing. If you know who I am? I specialize in real estate. Investors, realtors, anything to do with real estate is my kind of niche I go for because I love real estate, I love helping them, and I understand how it all works. So for you, you want to make your brand go up and your marketing, you to decide what niche will you take more than your ideal client. That will take you a huge mile apart. And then back to what I was talking about before, being there's so many different kinds of marketing out there. You know, you have social media marketing, but it really encompasses so many different things. From SEO for content, for branding, for social media management, to social media strategy. It really takes a huge, huge role on what you do, even search internet marketing, and also advertising. I also have a whole video above 
all about Facebook ads and how to do it from step one all the way to become a pro in one video less than an hour. But these things make a huge difference in what your marketing campaign would be, what you can really do. Like I said before, you know, marketing is the lifeline of every single business. It's one of my biggest passions because once you master marketing and understand how to do that, you can literally do anything you want to in life. You can literally live life in your own terms and have the freedom to do so. You can be able to relay your message to the people, have good PR, another form of marketing, and also really have that transaction which is selling. When it comes to marketing, you, know, you really want to really buckle down and understand, you know, lead generation is probably the biggest thing to understand, aside from what your product is, and also doing market research. And it's one of the biggest factors for it too. Because at the end of the day, marketing is all about the customers. The customers dictate what we do as a whole as marketers. And our job kind of is to influence them. And so how a better understanding of what I mean by this. What I do personally is Facebook advertisement and Google ads and content creation and branding. And by doing these different things, it helps me make my clients more money as soon as possible, especially when we focus on direct marketing. You know, what is going on right now in your business? Which is one of the funny things that most people don't take into account with marketing. They think, oh, marketing is just about going viral, or getting more likes, or doing more social media, stuff like that. But when you look in the grand scheme of things, it's even further. And then back to what happened before, you yeah, had two main categories. You have what I'm talking about now is the social media marketing or digital marketing and then traditional marketing. And I started from that point. Traditional marketing is your billboards, your ads, your newspapers, you know, you got flyers. All those things are traditional marketing. It's really massive marketing. I understand marketing one on one. You want to combine all aspects of this into your routine, into your strategy. They have the biggest buck for your bang and get the most exposure. One of my favorite quotes about marketing is if you're in a desert and no one knows you have the most magnificent oasis to ever been, it's kind of useless. Only you can enjoy it, which is fine, I guess, if you like that. But you want other people to see it, that way your marketing comes in. You have that brand saying, Oasis, Oasis, Oasis. And that's when it's been way more impactful, way more powerful for you as the creator to really make a huge difference in that aspect and get more people to come listen to what you're talking about and to buy your services or to swim in your oasis. <laughs> Honestly, marketing one-on-one could take hours and hours and hours to go through every single thing because there's so much, like I said before, 163 different marketing tactics and taglines for it. So. For you, same as plug, I just finished my third book. This is all about marketing. About 80 pages and really walk you through all the steps, how to do lead generation, how to structure your posts, how to do copywriting, how to do ads, how to convert more, how to sell better. For those of you who don't know me now, I went to college for marketing and psychology and psychology is a huge thing. And marketing one on one, a big part of that is understanding the human psychology, human behavior. Once you know that aspect, it becomes way easier to do marketing. Because in the day, like I said before, it all starts with you. Marketing is about the user, the person consuming the content or consuming the products, whatever it might be. So to wrap all this up, I know there's a lot of stuff I just talked about. Marketing really has a few main points, probably more than 10, but I'll stick with a few to get you on the ball. You know, you want to make sure you have a huge market research. Market research, it will help you define what you're doing and who you're talking to. A lot of people I know do the opposite, which is why they're not as successful as they could be. Because what you want to do is find what your audience is looking for and provide that to them. So market research will save you a lot of time. Even if you're doing affiliate marketing or drop shipping marketing, whatever the case might be, that will save you a lot. 
The next point you want to do too is understand your avatar, who your ideal client. Like I said before, I have a whole video about this I just made that you want to change your life. And from that point forward, now you know who you're talking to, you know you have, you want to understand the human psychology, which is in the third point I'm talking about. And from that point afterwards, you want to decide what kind of marketing strategy or do you want to focus on the most? Like I said before, you know, you have general marketing, specialized marketing or niche marketing, and then celebrity marketing. And you can even be general for a little bit or you can really niche down your marketing endeavors and know who you're talking to and what you're trying to do and what service you want to provide. Or you want to reach your audience for doing content? You want to reach your audience doing um, advertising or branding or SEO, there's so many different things to go in there, even like guerrilla marketing or street marketing or brand marketing, you know, like I said, there's marketing tactics all for days and days and days and like food marketing or influence marketing, which is one of the biggest hypes right now. And so use more context to that, video marketing content for 2020 80% of what's watched right now is going to be on social media and online. So you have content marketing to help you a lot more than most other marketing campaigns will unless you're doing direct marketing which is like sales or persuasion marketing which is probably one of the powerful ones you can do. So you want to decide of all those things I just spitballed at you which kind of marketing do you want to focus on the most and then capitalize on what's working. If you don't want to pick one Pick a few, because marketing at the end of the day is market analysis. What's working the most and what's not working that much. How a little bit in there because maybe in the future it changes and people are now looking at flyers and now looking at you know your post that you're sending out to mailers or you're advertising your content. And then you can kind of redirect what you're looking at. And you kind of bring this all together because there's still more points to keep in mind that there are 7.7 .7 billion people in the world right now living, even more now if I said that, and at least 3.5 billion people are online using social media in some way or another. And marketing, like I said, is all about attention. If you know what to find your target audience, which is on this device, you have to make a huge impact, reach more people, make a bigger, Understand what you're trying to talk about, spread your message, you know, live a financial free life in your own terms. This is why I love marketing so much because I've realized that marketing gives people the tools to live life on their own terms, to have the freedom to do so, to grow their business or their dream, and make it into reality. In my opinion, marketing is one of the best ways to support other people. So you kind of have someone who's not only your cheerleader in your schedule, in your sector, but also somebody who's going to help promote you and get your product, your listing, or your brand out into the marketplace for people to see for themselves. And at the end of the day, you have realized marketing or any kind of thing is all just a numbers game. The more people you reach, the more people are going to buy from you. You can reach a million people as back at least 10% of them. Even if just 1% of them actually like what you're doing, you'll be able to become super successful just from that point. Because one of my biggest sayings is, obscurity is one of the biggest killers in any kind of business. If no one knows who you are, it's really hard to make the impact you're looking for. As I said before, my whole channel is all about marketing, entrepreneurship, and becoming your best self. So if you want to really maximize your reach, do what you're trying to do, definitely all subscribe to my channel, give it a like so I know what kind of content to make for you, and sell this with your friends as well so they can also, you know, learn about marketing, how to really capitalize on their passions. As always, you're all kings and queens, we're all in this together, but it all starts with you. And just stay tuned, I'll hit that bell, because I'm going to be dropping a lot more about marketing one-on-one -on, -one on a different aspect. Like 74, there's so many different kinds of marketing that it would take me forever to reach and to talk about. And I'll see my book as well that I just published. Yeah, email me for that to know, so there's my email right there. Just let me know if you want the book, and I will have you have all information for that as well. Talk to you soon, the best day yet.